Just a heads up, folks, I just finished recording this and realized I forgot to turn on my face cam, so enjoy my Google screen for the next 18 or so minutes. Thanks. So apparently wood can turn into stone, or so I'm told. I recently was clearing out some brush around the side of my house. If you watch the Poison Ivy episode, that's how I got it. And while I was doing so, I stumbled across a large, what I thought was a piece of a tree. I thought it was a log, essentially. This log, while it was not brown, thankfully, it was a kind of faded gray color, and I was very confused. I ended up clearing out all the brush that had grown on top of it, and I went to go to try to move it, and it was about 200 pounds. Note, the thing's only about four feet long, maybe a foot wide. It should have been something I could have at least picked up and, you know, kind of hucked into the deeper part of the brush that I wasn't going to be clearing out, but I couldn't do that. And I thought, well, why is that? And then I noticed it's not wood, it's stone that looks a whole lot like wood, as evident by these pictures I'm going to put somewhere on the screen now. I was instantly intrigued. I didn't know what this was. I was like, oh, is this some kind of, like, bench that somebody made? I don't know. People have concrete benches, and I think it's pretty cool. So I'm like, oh, cool, I'm gonna take this out and make it into a bench. Took some pictures, sent it to some friends, and I'm like, look at this cool wooden, uh, co what did I say? I said something along the lines of, look at this cool stone log that I found. And one of my friends was wise enough to say, that looks like petrified wood. And my question was, what's petrified wood? I didn't want to ask him because I would have been embarrassed. So I'm going to ask Google. I've already done a little bit of background research, just a heads up. It's been over a week and I was really curious. But let's get into this. I wanted to actually wait and do more research until I was here with all of you lovely folks. So we're going to go into Google. What is petri... If I could learn to type... Eh. What is petrified wood? Here we go, nice little Google search result. Petrified wood, and I don't want to read Wikipedia. Essentially, to my understanding, this is wood that was fossilized. I live in eastern North Carolina, not necessarily a place known for fossils, I believe. I could be completely wrong. Let's go into the National Park Service. Now, I know that there are some, like, there is an Arizona nat. There's a park in, there's a national park in Arizona that does, that has a lot of petrified wood. This is what some of the cooler stuff looks like. Mine isn't necessarily that good because it's, a uh, more, like, just stone. I don't, it, it doesn't look like a cool piece of wood. This is not as long as I want it to be. Oh, we're gonna have to jump to a different website. Sorry, National Park Service. Let's go to the University of Oklahoma Boomer Sooners, am I right? That's not funny. Okay. I don't care about petrified wood in Oklahoma. What I do care about is how does it form? Like, what is it? So, according to this, petrified wood forms when wood is quickly buried in sand or mud, typically in a river channel during a flood. In some cases, however, wood can be buried in a beach or rafted into, deep mar into a deep marine environment, and under the right conditions, silica dissolved in groundwater is templated on the organic material in the wood, in addition, some silica crystals, some silica crystallizes within the pore spaces in the wood, depending on the timing of various processes and the degree to which they progress. The wood can be fragile and splintery or completely solid, and the cellular, this is not what I'm looking for. So the cellular structure of the wood can be perfectly pre preserved or completely destroyed. Now, this is one thing that I, in my base reading, I was able to find. It has, tends to have the same rings from the tree in there, um, and sometimes they can have, like, sappy materials on it. I don't know what source I was reading, unfortunately, but what we're trying to look, it, it is called fossil wood, at least in Oklahoma, or at least according to this site, but... Essentially, the wood rapidly gets covered in something and preserved, and as it starts to, de to decompose or whatever, stone takes its place or makes it decompose. I don't know. I'm not a geologist. That's why we're trying to figure it out together. Hold on. Okay. This is not a great site, unfortunately. Dang. There is not a lot of stuff on this. Britannica. That might be a good spot. I don't like using Britannica, but... Petrified wood fo is a fossil formed by the invasion of minerals into cavities between and within cells of natural wood, usually by silica 
or calcite. Okay, that's the most proper definition I've gotten after three websites that I've been to. Great. So it seems like as the material starts to break down, silica or calcite can get in between the cells and begin to take its place. Petrified forests of the western United States, that I, that's what I was talking about with the Arizona Natural Parks, uh, are sil- how do you say that? It, it's wood made out of silica, I know that, but is it silicified wood? Whatever, I'll, I'll get good at reading eventually. The tree tissues have been replaced by uh, chalcedony? Yeah, 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 quartz. Okay. <laughs> Often this replacement is so accurate that the internal structure as well as the external shape is faithfully represented. Sometimes even the cell structure may be determined. Wow, that's crazy. So basically the the stone takes over in place of the wood, and because it's on the cellular level, I guess, it's going in between and it's preserving almost an exact replica of what the wood was. Okay, now we're onto a different category because Britannica just moves fast. Ugh. So let's back out of this. And we're going to go, how is petrified wood made? Boom. Okay, not reading Wikipedia. These are the same websites. Uh, am I going to go to geology.com? I am. Oh, no. This looks like some 2004 bullshit. It's loading. This is miserable. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just went for a run. My lungs are still recovering. So this is just our basic definition again. Uh, okay. It forms when plant material is buried by sediment and protected from decay due to oxygen and organisms. So this leads me to another question I had. I found this, it wasn't buried. It was overgrown. But the reason I believe that is, is because I moved into a new construction house recently. I am fortunate enough, my wife and I were able to do that. And this was kind of on the side of the lot. So I think when they were digging out for the foundation, at some point they found it and just hucked it on the side of the property. And I was lucky enough to dig it up and get poison sumac. Wish they would have just left it in the crawl space or something. <laughs> but nonetheless, we're getting into this and I didn't have to dig it out, but most people would. So, once it gets buried, uh, they're protected from decay because there's no oxygen and other organisms to get to them. And then over time, groundwater rich in dissolved soil solids flows through the sediment, replacing the original plant material with silica, calcite, or pyrite. So this is making it much more understandable for me, and I really appreciate that, geology.com. You're backing up what I already knew, but making me understand it. Or other inorganic materials, such as opal. I bet you that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. The result is a fossil that the original woody material that often exhibits preserved details of the bark, wood, and cellular structures. So basically, it is a one-for-one one of wood preserved in stone. I don't understand. Is it wood or is it stone that took over wood? That's my remaining question. Because once it gets uncovered, couldn't it then decompose? Whatever. I think maybe because it's still surrounded by stones, oxygen, and other organic organisms that would decompose it can't get to it. This is speculation. Ah, uh, Charmin, leave, no, Scots, not even Charmin. Ugh. Some specimens of petrified wood are not accurate preservations that people do not realize they are fossil. Hold on, let me read that again. Some specimens of petrified wood are such accurate preservations that people do not realize they're fossils until they pick them up and are shocked by their weight. Hey, that sounds familiar because that's exactly what I did. Wow. These specimens with near-perfect preservation are unusual. However, specimens that exhibit clearly recognizable bark and woody structures are very common. Now, reading stuff like this kind of makes me feel weird. Because I just have it sitting in the corner of my yard now because A, it's 200 pounds, and B, I thought it looked cool to sit on. Now I'm thinking I should, like, donate it to something or, like, I don't know, capitalism. We could sell it probably, but I would likely just donate it. I don't want to go through the hassle of selling it, and it would be nice to be able to actually le lend it somewhere, I guess. Let's see. Okay. So this is talking about those parks. This looks really cool, if you can see this image here. Let me try to zoom it in. It's not going to go well. Oh, dear God. See, it's just a bunch of petrified logs. I like that. Oh, my God. This is cesspool of ads. Okay. Other petrified wood localities. I don't really care about this. 
See, this isn't what mine looks like, it just looked like a rock. I thought it might have been concrete poured into a mole at first. Collecting petrified wood legally can- oh. Okay, I live on private property and I have permission from myself, I own the land, okay. I got scared there for a second. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm going to go to jail then. Not really wood. This should answer one of my questions then. A material found in... What? It's widely known as petrified palm wood. However, palm plants don't produce wood. They instead their trunk. So this is basically just semantics, I believe. Because palm is technically not wood. Didn't know that. Hold on. Uh, just because you showed me the ad, I'm not reading more about that. Damn you, geology.com. Live science. I don't care about how long it takes. I'm guessing it's a long time because fossils are not quick, generally speaking. I don't want to go to Kiora. How stuff works, I guess. Uh, is this going to be a huge article? This is actually, like, massive. Okay. So we already know how it forms. Let's see. Now, this is nice. They're just telling me how long it takes instead of making me click a link. Uh, petrification often conjures images of painstakingly slow geological journey. That's what I was saying. Typically spanning millions of years. Holy cow. Oh. However, this is not always the case. Sometimes, so sometimes petrified wood forms much more quickly. Okay, so it's not always a painstakingly slow geological journey, as the website says here. Sometimes it's quick, but how does that happen? While it's true that crafting the detail and vibrantly hued specimens of petrified water we often admire can stretch long okay, yeah, it can take a long time and it can look pretty, uh, the inception of petrification can happen relatively quickly under the right conditions. The speed of this process can vary significantly depending on the environmental factors. In some instances, it can happen relatively quickly, within decades or centuries, that's <laughs> relatively is a really stretch in there, uh, particularly when optimal conditions exist, uh, such as presence of abundant minerals and rapid burial. I believe rapid burial is generally, like, kind of just a part of this, no? Nonetheless, it's really cool. Okay, the chemistry. So this is, this might answer what I was wanting to know, because is it wood preserved in stone, or is it stone that overtook wood? Uh, the level of detail seen in some special specimens is downright astonishing. Yes, petrified logs with well-preserved knots, branches, and leaves have been found. I wouldn't say mine has branches, but it does have some knots and stuff. I'll put more pictures up right now. Flash, 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 flash. I don't know if my hands did that. I might just blur myself out or something. <laughs> Uh, fossils have also come across occasional log root structure. I don't have a root structure, but I believe it. That's probably cool. Uh, growth rings. I heard this was like a big thing that makes it work. Like it has to have the growth rings in order to be verified. I don't know. I could be making that up completely. Don't trust a word I say unless I'm reading it off the page. There's also the matter of coloration. Cross sections of petrified wood often showcase glistering colors of rainbow. Mine doesn't, but I also haven't cut into it, and I'm probably not going to because I don't know how to cut into stone. Beloved by artists. Okay, yeah. Now there's... Yeah, I'm not worried about the color. I'm not worried about the legality. We already covered that. I'm not worried about exploring a forest. Okay, nothing else to get out of this site, but what did I get out of that site? I don't even know. Oh my god. God, I'm browsing as a guest because I don't want my funny Google searches to pop up and my bookmarks to be there. Just a bunch of dumb YouTube stuff, but God, I need an ad block. Fossil design. Oh my God, this is some 2010 bullshit. <clears throat> to become petrified. Okay, we know this. It can take a few thousand years to 10,000. A couple decades or centuries. We read that, and then it can also go five to 10,000 years. Jurassic... <sighs> Okay, it may be hard to it may be hard to comprehend, but dinosaurs once roamed these same forests. Cool. I'm not worried about what kind it is. See, I thought furniture would be cool, and I'm glad I'm not the only one. Should I figure out how to make an art piece out of this? Like, is that something I should just do? Let me know in the comments what you would do if you found a kind of funky petrified log in your backyard. Also, I believe generally if you find any, you're gonna find more. So this means I need to find a new new question. So I want to find out, like, I, I know what it is. Is petrified wood wood is a kind of what I'm trying to figure out.
Uh, the Wikipedia blurb that pops up, petrification is a result of tree or tree-like plants having been replaced by stone. Replaced. So that's a key word that I haven't seen other places, but it's Wikipedia. The mineralization process that often includes the permineralization and replacement. Uh, the organic compound. Okay, yeah. Um, is petrified wood actually wood? Let's click the drop box. What's the source? Gemstones.com. Petrified wood is a type of fossilized wood. Yes, we, that's obvious. Ugh. Petrified wood made up of almost solid quartz. So if it's almost solid quartz, does that mean that it's actually not wood? Based on how heavy it is, it seems like it's not a lot of wood because that organic material tends to be a lot lighter. Also, my, uh, my sample that I found, A, it's huge and heavy, it was also caked in, like, dirt, the same kind of dirt that's in the soil surrounding my house, so I believe that it was dug out and then just hucked on the side. They didn't know how cool their thing was. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Do, do I click this box? Uh, depends on the rarity... Some can be found for less than 50 bucks. Over a hundred thousand dollars! Mine's not that pretty, so I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't want to look at it for sale. Okay. Uh, see... This is what's getting me, because I can't find this answer on the first page of Google. I, see, this isn't what I need to know any of these questions. I'm so bad at Googling. I... It still says how. I forgot to erase that. Is petrified wood actually wood? It's a type of fossilized wood. We know that. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to find this. Bear with me, folks. Jeez, this is almost as bad as getting poisoned sumac. I say that being completely facetious. It's not. Um, fossil wood field. A cast that forms... Yes, wood becomes rock. According to Quora, which isn't necessarily a great a great source, this is rockology.net. I trust that more than Quora, I think, depending on who answered it, of course. It's made of materials, of course. Minerals, of course. I can read. Petrified wood is not actually wood at all, but a fossil. Okay. So there we have it, folks. I found a piece of wood in my yard that got turned into stone after it was quickly buried and minerals took its place. Now it's sitting in my yard and I have to figure out what I could do with it. And again, let me know what you would do in the comments. Would you try to break it up and see if it looks prettier on the inside than the outside? Would you just leave it be in the yard and say, oh, that's a cool little bench? Or would you sell it or donate it or whatever else? I'm, I'm genuinely curious what you would do. But it seems to me like we have figured it out. And yes, Wood can turn to stone. It just takes a really, really long time. I'm Roasty Nails. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.